I'm landing in Santo Domingo, a capital de Republica Dominicana. We are landing out there like, wow, it's been like maybe 10 years since, since I've been here in the motherland. So it, it was such a cool experience. You guys will see a little bit of what what we did here we're at the beach called Mondolio. Um, family friends uh, took us here and yeah it was, it was beautiful and of course I could not miss the museum so these are some of my favorite works from the museum uh, in Museo de Arte Moderno the Museum of Modern Art in Santo Domingo. These were very interesting, very indigenous um, paintings. They had a lot of themes of gender and identity, culture, childhood, just a whole bunch of different things like, um, you know, indigenous right there, indigenous things, indigenous ideas and modern and cultural beautiful works and yeah um you guys will see let me know what you guys think of these paintings and works i really loved it and i was really inspired this one was really cool too surrealistic kind of reminded me of dali These were really cool too. These were paintings and these were like abstract paintings. And this one was like a hut. This one was really cool. It incorporated Haiti and Dominican Republic. So now this is another day where we're going to Los Tres Ojos. Um, also in Santo Domingo, we, we were there for like two weeks in Santo Domingo, so it, it seems like a long time, but not really. Um, so yeah, these are the three eyes, and it is believed that these caves were inhabited by the Taino people. And Seba trees are known to we're known as the center of the universe and it's the transition of the physical and the spiritual world it's like the the link the symbolic link for that so it was very it's very endemic in highly spiritual areas so the fact that i was there and where my ancestors were and all that it was beautiful and I'll never forget that feeling. And let's see what oh this was the Taino petroglyphs. That was really beautiful and cool. This was the fourth eye. Um which is wow, it is not considered the it's not considered a part of the tres ojos because it's more it's not like a cave, it's like more open. But yeah, it was it was really cool. It said too that Anacaona would, would bathe there and a lot of indigenous chiefs and caciques would be there and just, you know, Taino civilians. That was a normal, normal thing. And so yeah, this is me starting a mural now in my grandparents' backyard. <laughs> there were so many mosquitoes there. Oh my gosh, I risk el dengue. <laughs> if you're, you know, el dengue is kind of like yellow fever, 
uh, and it was really um you can see like the cup on the bottom it was <laughs> it has like a mosquito repellent thing but it did not work really i got bit a lot but thankfully i was safe and i didn't get any mosquito well i didn't get anything Thank goodness. So yeah, um, I was inspired by those tres ojos and all that with this painting, and I decided to paint a more indigenous um, looking face person, <laughs> and you know, playing guitar. the flower the hibiscus flower which is very prominent and big uh, in the art if you see Santo Domingo a bunch of places you see the this flower in a lot of like art pieces and a lot of murals outside just different tags there's this flower the hibiscus so if you're ever in Santo Domingo you'll probably notice it so I felt like I had to Oh, included and I'll explain about it more later but so right now we're on our way to Estebanilla Aswa we are going to a family friend party graduation party so this is really cool there was actually a band that played which is going to about to play right now so let me be quiet for a second so you can hear some <laughs> So yeah, that song Pericori Piao, if you have not heard it, <laughs> um, go look it up on YouTube, I'm sure, and, and get into it and learn. Uh, this is like a very traditional old uh, type of merengue. And yeah, oh my god, that night was so hot. I don't know how, but we all danced all night and it was incredible. So yeah, here I am. I'm painting the mural again. I'm painting the guitar. And so yeah, I decided to also include the aloe vera plant on the right side. Here we are. Here again, we're going back to Aswa, Estabania, in, well, this is where we stopped by Las Dunas de Bani. It's like, wow, it was so hot that day, but it was like a desert in the middle. <laughs> and it was a desert, like, right next to the ocean, right next to the water, and that was crazy. But yeah, so we went to our family friends, Konuku which is a indigenous term for like a place where you grow crops and stuff. They had, a, it was like a finca. It's called, oh, well, there was like, it's called Fogon too, where we're making right now a sancocho and rice. This is, oh, it was delicious. Um, so yeah, there was, Oh my god, so many um, yucca, yucca plants and trees and avocados in this finca, and this conoco. It was, wow, beautiful and big and it was really fun. Being there, there was, you know, the guys were playing domino. And here is one of... They were workers trying to pull out yucca. One of their family friends and workers pulling out the yucca. It was 
really hard but you guys are about to see how big how much you got was in that in the ground it's like if you know you guys have a root it's a root um, vegetable so you guys will see it comes out a little blurry the picture i'm sorry but you guys can see the outline it's crazy and though that yuca was so good you know organic um and really delicious and good for you and yeah here are some of the avocados i was talking about the avocado tree so beautiful so full it was like had to be maybe like a hundred avocados <laughs> now nah, i'm playing yeah, i'm tripping i'm exaggerating but it was a lot a lot a lot, a lot. and they were so good so yeah this was the day at el canuco then this goal was so cute but yeah now we're about to go into more of the finishing of the mural so yeah here i'm painting the aloe vera it turned out a little bit more green than it should have because aloe vera is more on the yellow green side so yeah that didn't I don't know it just kept I kept trying to lighten it up but for some reason it was not lighting up <laughs> this is a little recap of my childhood home the backyard some of the inside the mango tree you know the the, the sink in the bottom where we used to wash clothes Thankfully now we have a washing machine, but yeah, back in the day, there's, oops, there's so many memories in this backyard, like it's crazy. So I'm glad I was able to incorporate this mural. I also added these like angel wing type of things behind her, if you can notice. And it's to an ode and commemorate my ancestors that were, you know, part of this home are part of this home and part of our ancestry and our blood and they are always there and i wanted to make sure they know how much i appreciate them and you know that i'm always thinking of them and so yeah this is the final mural let me know what you guys think and yeah sabila is so many beneficial things from gut health to being an antioxidant to just being really good with burns and everything also did the rolos on this one because my grandmother actually owned a hair salon on the bottom of that house like you know on the same level of the mural so I found that an ode to that as well but yeah other than that wow um, this trip was incredible I feel like it went by so fast but I hope we could go back again soon and really experience more maybe take some art classes there we'll see and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. This is for, you know, my Taino ancestors. I hope you guys enjoyed. And non live resistance. And um, may we continue to fight for the oppressed. Okay. Love you guys. And stay safe. Stand up for what's right.